thank you dr sushma good morning everyone i am vedyanathan uh, i currently live in delhi and cr and i am a former national level athlete uh, at present i am leading a team uh, in export supply chain management for one of the largest automakers in the world wherein i could even provide access to few corporate health programs to, as i am a coach in you no know, wq community uh, now being a former national level athlete you know i have received a lot of awards for the university and the state i represented which is tamil nadu and of course my happiness was beyond anything and most of you over here know neeraj chopra right he was a tokyo olympic gold medalist he was a teenager back then a young chap a teenager back then who had just finished his under 20 world championship and you know entered to participate in the national meet which i was in and i even got the opportunity to have been uploaded by the great pt usha after one of my 200 meter race in nationals so but that came in life and moment you know where for, which is true for most of us over here where my athletics career got transitioned to a corporate life right and it was a little bit difficult for me because from exercising to like you know 5 uh, 6 hours in the track and field to working in a cubicle which is like you know 10 to 12 hours a day i mean it was a bit upsetting for me over the more i was like you know amazing computer gamer you know trust me i used to have 400 to 500 gb of games not 4 5 gb 400 to 500 gb of games and i used to play for at least 4 hours during weekdays and like you know 15 hours during weekends and because that was an addiction for me right something which i developed back then uh, but you know to be frank it was a god's blessing that i got in touch with mr mohan i mean he is one of the C, uh, like you know one of the senior most persons in the corporate in uh, it in it background and also his wife mrs lakshmi i mean i know that there is no day where i don't uh, like you know really thank god for not having met them is i re- i really don't know i mean how things would have been because you know i would have been a gamer or maybe like you know something pretty worse you know pretty worse addiction in, in that case and one of the main reasons back then why i joined uh, this particular community was just to maintain my fitness or even do something related to sports you know that was the only thing which is going in my mind and i didn't have any vision uh, uh, like you know as to whether i'll be guiding a person or like you know impacting people's lives you know but I've, as they say you know life has its own plans and it was during that particular time my mom when she was in muscat she took a blood test and she was diagnosed with diabetes you know it was one of the most shocking moments for me in my life because see she is someone you know who was also an athlete back in her days and even today she has a capacity to run a 100 meter race right but uh, the thing was you know things didn't change she was diabetic and the worst part was you know i didn't know anything about lifestyle disorders or diabetes i mean i was completely clueless back then but i knew what wq community was doing right that that was something you know which i had and i just casually apl- uh, approached my coaches inia and nuna i asked them like you know is there anything that we can do to like you know reduce your mom's sugar levels you know she's diabetic she's 8.1 what is the thing which we can do they were glad to accept it but a lot of people like you know around me they were like are yaar vaidya this is not something which is going to work i mean they felt this was a waste of time and money actually but my mom was in one among those and i over here like many of you was willing to invest in my mom's health no matter what then the miracle happened you know she uh, like you know came to this wellness coaching platform and she shared her journey on how she overcame her diabetes so that is a very small like you know clipping which i would like to show you on that how she had like you know trans so i had very good life healthy lifestyle but the point one was really a big one for me i was so shocked actually but my my parents also they are not non diabetic only no history also past history also no one knows. please say, please say what you had in mind yeah i i shared this with my uh, family and uh, vaidya also my son vaidya so he was confident enough he told all about this wellness portion but first initially i was hesitant to accept this actually because i never go for medications and also i was just hesitant first but vaidya he gave full support and actually really with unna's support also with my guidance and all he told me you can reverse the diabetes this first thing reversal of diabetes i, I haven't heard such words in a reversal of diabetes but nobody i had my, my aunts uncles everyone had diabetes but no one has reversed as such now hpa1c level now with right 4.9 now with 4.9 this last wow. may uh, may i to you know the best moment she is no longer diabetic right i mean that was one of the best moments in my life but that happiness was something which didn't last long because it was the second wave of covid and you know both my parents were diagnosed covid positive and even my mom had pneumonia things got even difficult because i was in north india they were in southern part of india but this time 
I had to believe what WQ lifestyle was because you know it showed what my why uh, what my mom could do, and you know this WQ lifestyle was something which ensured that my parents were safely required re- recovered despite whatever happened over there, right? Whatever the situation may be, they recovered from it. Now it was my dad's turn to tell. You no, know, trust me, I've never heard him like you know telling such words. You know, he just told that like you know thank you so much. If if it was not for you. Uh, or like you know what you had suggested i don't know what would have the situation would be for me or your amma i mean like you know what a proud moment for me as a son right i mean trust me this is the first time ever he told something like this then things changed gradually i was now wanting to impact people's lives given uh, like you know the kind of experience which i have had many of my relatives who rejected earlier they were approaching me given my parents uh, like you know uh, transformation they were in queue to get their health concerns addressed some of them still are but you know it changed their lives too most of my friends started approaching you know for example my college mates some of my school mates my college professors you know not just that but so many families started getting impacted uh, more importantly over here i would like to uh, like you know thank two people which is prabhu and joyce because they played a crucial role in guiding my friends my professors and teachers because they are one of the most charming people i'm blessed to get in touch with right now to the more exciting part the monetary aspect Okay, let me give you a glimpse how it was before. You know, there was a time I remember where my four-digit ATM pin used to guard three-digit bank balance. Okay, I used to use this Metro card of fixed deposit because you know this Delhi Metro required minimum fifty rupees in that. Third was you know whenever I used to go to ATM, instead of covering the pin number, I used to cover the screen so that no one looks at my bank balance. You know, it it might sound funny for you right now, but it might sound funny, but that was not the situation back then. You know. but today i can say proudly that you know with the income which i'm getting from impacting people's lives my basic expenses like my house rent are covered with this money by the way the house rent in gurugram is like at par with many places in mumbai it is one of the highest in india you know and even in situations of emergency like within a matter of few minutes i could transfer few lakhs to my family when needed i mean none of us can predict how life will take us but being prepared for that you know is one of the best thing which we can do and this particular thing did not happen to me because you know of the income which i am earning but more importantly what else i am learning from this community you know and from my experience most youngsters like me today are worried about their future as in like you know what will happen to them or what will happen to their family in next 5 years or so and the answer which i get from them when i ask them bro what is your plan they will be like are yaar i'm just waiting for friday evening thank god i'm not one among them you know most people my age firstly don't even get the opportunity to be a part of such community and even get the chance to learn how to live a life like a man you know all i hear is yolo yolo is you know you live only once that's all you know i i really like you know sometimes i'm grateful that you know i'm not someone who is just waiting for friday but i'm waiting i'm waking up every day to change someone's life and look forward to getting one more step closer to achieving my vision i'm so glad that i've inculcated a lot of great habits like reading books you ask my sister or some of my college mates they will like you know, read books and where they are like two different poles apart you know that is a habit which i started inculcating listening to podcast speaking my goals and dreams these habits were possible because i am a part of this community and being a single guy or a bachelor i can keep my head high and say i will not have to worry a drop of how my financial security will be in future or even how will my relationship with my future wife my parents or my sister will be because you know these are the priceless things i'm learning in this particular community for me it was a learning without any realization but for my parents you know they were they they could see some kind of a transition that was happening inside me now they are taking my inputs nowadays for certain decisions in the life i'm 100% sure you know whatever i'm learning from this community wouldn't be possible in the outside world so if you are someone who is in your 20s or if you are someone who is just beginning to start a career maybe here or in the wellness there are just two things which i want to mention to you number one if you are in a health journey or if your family member is in a health journey you no know, make it happen because it's worth it it might take some time i mean you will have a lot of challenges you might not be having like you know same a routine like everyone else but make it happen because you wouldn't get such an opportunity to impact people's lives the number two the grip on your finances at such an early age in your life is beyond anything you expect because i have seen people who worry about their monetary situation in the late 30s or 40s but this again is an opportunity for you i mean what else can i say my athletics career after nationals indeed you know was a heartbreak
but this is an opportunity for me to achieve my goals and i'm getting it done i cannot be denied back to the host